Welcome to this Rehib video. In this video, we will briefly show you how we at Technical University of Denmark have been prototyping new technologies for supporting recovering stroke patients using augmented and virtual reality and LEGO. This first clip demonstrates the use of eye tracking for gaze and traction in VR and AR. In a rehabilitation program, the patient may use gaze to point at objects or body parts he or she would like to engage. With gaze buttons triggered by prolonged gazing, the objects highlight and a message appears. The gaze point is indicated by a red ball in the graphical interface, appearing when the objects are gazed upon. You can notice the gaze point following the words when the info text over the object is read. In future systems, we can use real-time analysis of gaze patterns to automatically confirm when a training instruction has been read by the patient. This video clip illustrates the use of a real object in a virtual space. First, we see a physical broom tracked and used in a virtual environment as part of a game. Gaze tracking ensures that it becomes highlighted when patients look at it. Now, real-time camera feed is used as background, creating an augmented reality experience. The real broom is tracked by the same sensor system which tracks the virtual reality headset. There is a small latency between the real broom from the video feed and the virtual broom aligned with it. Finally, we present some of the regular virtual reality features, such as object interaction and teleportation for longer movement outside of physical boundaries. If a patient is bound to a physical location, then teleportation may be a way to move around the virtual environment. This final video section showcases an exoskeleton prototype that we are currently developing here at DTU. It is not meant for real clinical rehabilitation, but to spark new ideas for human-robot interaction and to experiment with interface designs. It is made out of standard LEGO Technic components, allowing us to rapidly modify its construction. Communication with the Unity 3D development platform and the LEGO Mindstorm control unit is done via Bluetooth. The exoskeleton supports two degrees of freedom, one at the elbow joint allowing the elbow to bend, one at the wrist allowing the wrist to rotate. The wrist is surrounded by a cuff which connects the forearm to the rotating circle. Mounting the exoskeleton on a patient's arm is easy. First, the wrist rotating circle is secured by a squeeze and lock mechanism. After that, the upper arm part is folded onto the biceps. The prototype is attached to the arm using hooks and rubber bands. Then, the exoskeleton is calibrated. The first stage is when the arm is straight, the elbow is not bended, and the palm is facing down. A button is pressed to save this posture. The second stage is when the arm is bended, the palm is facing the head. Another button is pressed in order to save this end of the range of movement. The next step for us will be to integrate this prototype with the interfaces that we have developed. For instance, we could support patient rehabilitation through daily activity simulation using the broom to remove virtual dirt on the floor, as shown in the previous video section.
we may develop interfaces for other common daily activities like eating or toothbrushing. By wearing the exoskeleton on a function arm, we can record the movements that are needed to complete these activities to train the artificial intelligence module. Positions are logged every millisecond to a local server using the MQTT protocol. The Unity program subscribes to this local server and fetches changes from the sensors. The exoskeleton and trained AI will be able to assist on moving the paralyzed arm to complete an activity such as toothbrushing by sending triggers to the motors on when and how the patient needs to move next. We aim to design a novel solution to help stroke patients through hybrid rehabilitation to regain the ability to perform daily activities and to perhaps enable the learning of new abilities with assistance from an upper limb exoskeleton.